So having a 97% win rate sounds pretty fantastic, right? I mean, when you really think uh, about winning 97% of your trades, that sounds phenomenal. However, there are some caveats. Is it really smart to have such a high win rate? Or if you have a high win rate, how is your R multiple that goes with this? Are you winning a bunch, but then maybe you have a big drawdown? That's what we're going to cover kind of in today's um, uh, video. Now, when we look at uh, SPX credit spreads and having a high win rate, having a high uh, win rate on the SPX, it's not really that difficult. Um, really, what it comes down to is kind of more around the risk to reward concept. So let's say we're putting on a, a credit spread here on the SPX, and we're going to go to maybe a seven day, um, just to make it a simple week, credit spread. So if we have a 97% win rate here, and we're going to take a look at uh, maybe this three delta, roughly speaking, so we should win most of the time, but you do have a high higher probability of it touching about 7%. So let's say we take this one, about uh, 4390, we're gonna sell a vertical, and this is our credit spread. So we're not going to collect a ton of money, but we might actually spread it out a little bit just to get a little bit more credit. So when we look at a credit spread like this, this has a high chance of actually uh, winning. And with this high chance of winning, the downside is, is that the amount of capital you have to put up is quite high. So when you start looking at what you're actually putting up to make this, it's significant. So I'm risking 1,970 uh, in order to make only 30 bucks. So, but I have a 90% chance win rate. Now it's different if you have a strategy where you go in and you actually have a 97% win rate because you're uh, doing something where you put on a trade and you're risking very little money or the amount of capital at risk is actually predefined that's smaller or the risk to reward is better, but you're hitting them 97% of the time. But if you're doing a 97% win rate on credit spreads, all of a sudden this starts to get a little bit dangerous because all it takes is one nasty move against you and it could blow up in your face a little bit. So let's say we take this up to 20 contracts. And if we go to 20 contracts, I'm risking almost $40,000 to make 600 bucks. So yeah, you might win 600 bucks, 600 bucks, 600 bucks, time and time again. But then anytime you get a nasty drawdown of let's say $9,000, you went to go get lunch, you went to the bathroom and you just see SPX going down, you know, one blip. Uh, that can wipe out a good year's worth of, of gains or re repetition of those gains. So you need to be very mindful of what does a 97% win rate really mean to you? And how much capital at risk are you putting up when you're getting a 97% win rate? So here earlier in another video, I've got this uh, concept of a 43% win rate, simple strategy of, you know, kind of doing opposite or the same of uh, what was happened in the previous bar on the week. And this actually came out to about 43%. And that could kind of make sense, right? Because, hey, if the previous bar was up, then this bar you're going to go bullish on um, and then vice versa. So you kind of can alternate. So it should be about 50%, but sometimes you'll get 43, sometimes you get 65 so that win rate is kind of interesting in that when you go in and have a, even a 60% win rate, well, what's the actual return? And the problem here with doing credit spreads and having a high uh, win rate is you're probably going to have to risk more. Now, it's different if you go in and do a credit, um, do a credit spread that's maybe a little bit different. Like, let's say we do a construction that's 44 80, 44, 70, and then we're building a credit spread. We're going to build an iron condor here, and then we'll do this one. And here's a credit spread. Now, this is um, a little bit different of a spread. And if something like this has a 97% win rate, all of a sudden, I'm going to say, good for you. Because this now, the amount at risk is 700 versus the reward of 300. Now you've got something very powerful or much more powerful uh, because your risk to reward or capital at risk is even more so uh, a better risk to reward. And when you're when you get that unexpected move, um, those unexpected moves is really what will burn you. 
And that's what you want to uh, avoid or kind of limit here in a credit spread, something like this, um, compared to a credit spread that's this vertical that's way the heck out here. And yes, you have a 97% win rate taking it to full expiration. But if you're trading credit spreads with um, less risk and you're getting a 97% win rate, that is now starting to become a, a good thing. Now, I want to show you another example here. Let's say we're doing another credit spread. We're going to sell one at the money. We're selling a vertical credit spread here. So we've got a different credit spread here where we're risking about 275 to make 225. Let's do something. Let's go a little bit different here. Let's go to maybe a, a $10 wide. So we're risking about 500 to make 500 and we're going to do a thousand. So we'll make it nice, simple numbers. Okay. So we're risking about a thousand to make a thousand. This also is a much more uh, better risk to reward property. If you're risking a thousand to make maybe a thousand or risking a, a thousand to make 800 and you're winning 97% uh, of those, then this can also be good. So when you start seeing things that are 97% win rate or 50% win rate or 80% win rate, don't think that a higher win rate is actually better. Um, it really comes down to more position sizing. And when I did the study, I showed this in one of the other videos. Um, this study actually had only a 43% win rate. But because of the position sizing, there's a couple of different position sizings that I did on here. Uh, one is equal bet. One is double on the loss. One is tr uh, double, but do it up to three times on the loss. Uh, one is um, a win. What is this one? Uh, two times the win. So when you win, you do two times the win. Um, but and then you keep it the same. And one is three times on the first win and then go back to normal positions. And really, when you look at it, the position sizing thing is way more critical and important um, to than you know, having a higher win rate, because in this case, we had a only 43 percent win rate. But if you had proper positioning and proper position sizing, uh, you actually could win. If you kind of did equal bets, you would have lost. Yeah, because, well, you won only 43 percent of the time. So you came out with a with a loss. And if you doubled up on the loss, you lost even more and you tripled up. You lost even more because the win rate was not high or successful. Um, whereas if you went in and did, um, you know, three times on the win, you actually would have came out ahead or even twice on the win, you would have came out ahead. So when we start looking at these, uh, concepts and these strategies, remember that position sizing is more important, um, than, um, looking at just the win rate. So you have to start taking this into account that, Hey, how much am I risking? What's my reward? Um, and then that win rate, yeah, you're always trying to improve it. That's never ends. But these concepts will be much more valuable if you can keep um, uh, keep that risk to reward proper and still have a high win rate. Because all it takes is that nasty move against you one way or the other, and it can wipe out a, a high probability trade on a credit spread. So anyways, I wanted to mention that to you because I, I see a lot of people thinking that, hey, I'll just sell way out here and collect a, a bunch of credit. And you can do that, but you got to put up a lot of capital. But then what it could do is if it if you're wrong and it starts going against you, uh, it can get nasty. All it takes is that one time of that move to go against you. So anyway, be mindful on these things and trade smart. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Truly appreciate it. Check out the Traders Fly website. Learn more. Get some freebies, free uh, courses in some of the sections there we've got. And a one-on-one -on -one session if you're interested in that as well, where I work with people for three months at a time, uh, learning and teaching the strategies uh, for them. So that way they can continue to evolve. Anyways, thanks again. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.